All right, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Vendito, and in the last episode, we finished up the Dead Money DLC. Uh, in this one, we're gonna go do the Divide, I believe. This is what the DLC is called. Uh, let's see, level 25 or higher. What are we at now? We should be able to do it. We are level 28, yeah. So we should, we'll... Our level is high enough to be able to survive in here. All right, here we go. Can I go up here? Oh, I can. Awesome. Oh boy. Oh yeah, guy here. Let's go. Got MREs, we got steadies. Sick. Alright, so we gotta go down there and need to go down, it appears. This place is pretty cool again. I have no idea where this place is. Um, Hopeville Ballistic Defense Station, authorized military personnel only. Alright, checks out. I guess we've got a Hopeville. Silo blast door controls? You can go home for the courier. Oh, Lonesome Road, let's go. Yeah, I've never done this DLC. It's a programmer's digest. Fossil controls access to the silo itself, but it's encrypted beyond your ability to hack. You will need to find something that can break the encryption in order to see it. Okay, so go this way. Unlock maintenance access door. Cool. So head up this way. Commissary terminal? Oh, god damn it. There's a lot of bottle caps in there. Okay. Uh, what the fuck is that? Is that a flamer? Nice. Restaurant pack 12. No, it's an arc welder. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? All right, I understand. Let's find something we can drop. Ooh, we have a lot of throwing knife spears. Automated commissary system has been locked down until further notice. It turns out that the counterfeit proof pay uh, we've been issuing to you are exactly the same size and shape as ordinary bottle caps. Until we can correct the problem, you'll have to make your purchases the old fashioned way. Okay. We'll get him open. That sound you played some kind of memory glitch. Oh, no, it wasn't your boot up sequence, it was a recording. Something about someone called Ralphie. 
Probably just some old data floating around in your memory. Nothing to worry about. Um, I think I could use your help getting out of here. Can you come with me? Experiment log 369248 slash B. iBot DuraFrame Universal Interface Override System. This is Dr. Whitley presiding. We've boosted signal gain and enlarged the overflow buffer system. That should ensure 100% connectivity and control. Eddie, whenever you're ready. Yes, success. <clears throat> um, reporting full success on 369248-B. Eddie was able to interface with and override the test panel in under three seconds. Great job, team. Now let's start on the proposal for the full rollout. Uh, that's a recording from your development. Are you saying you can override electronic security? Only panels with this shape receivers. The console in the main room had one of those, I think. Is that the voice of your creator? What happened to him? Okay. Well, I'm sure he's fine, wherever he is. Maybe you'll see him again one day. Alright, let's keep moving. Right, we got a fucking robot with us now, boys. There's nothing down there. Oh, he's like following, following me. Crazy. A little stimmy. Pretty glued to this, right? Ooh, reading mask. What the fuck? Don't tell me I'm gonna need those. Can I command him to go do something? Is he just gonna do it on his own? Okay, have him unlock the terminal for me. Oh my god. That's a little aggressive. Welcome to the United States Armed Services Joint Automated Commissary and Repair Station. Please input your selections below. Access commissary. Yeah, so it should have ammo, food, healing, all that kind of stuff. Plenty of ammo. Just packs. Auto injects. I don't really want that. Regular stem packs. Yeah. Grab both of them. There's combat armor. That's crazy. Let's see kind of. There's another super stem pack. You know. What are we running? What kind of weapons are we running? Uh, we've got three weight. Uh, Twelve gauge. I have plenty of E-cells, decent amount of MF cells. So I guess just a uh, 12 gauge and then 308 if it's here. Probably switch back. So 12 gauge, we have plenty of those. And then 308. So we going to go .308. Gauge slug, see that's crazy. Uh, nine millimeter rounds. We'll actually grab all those too. EC pack overcharge. No, grab those as well. It's uh, a lot of caps right now, but that'll do. Yeah, that'll do. We've got fucking 12k, or no, 1200 ammo for this. Have ED or Eddie unlock the terminal for you. Yep. Where you at, Eddie? Okay. Um, use the controls lever to restore power to the silo. So power's restored. Oh shit! It's a rocket. The fuck? Oh, we gotta go this way. Okay. Let's just open this. So we're like, we're not even in the DLC, are we? There's not meaning. Can't be that. 
melting. Oh, can't be that. Kidnaps, strangely. Unlock hydraulics access door. Yep. Door door's open. Scrap electronics. Ooh, hello. I'll yoink those. Thank you very much. My scrap electronics. There's nails. Oh, there's a nail gun. Well. That checks out. Problem is now we're at pin. I bought upgrade circuit board. Got a module on this broken I bought that can upgrade to Eddie. Installing this module grants you the first strike of the camera raider? What? Okay, whatever. Allowing Eddie to repair your currently equipped weapon once per day. This perk is accessed through Eddie's dialogue. You'll find more upgrade modules you can unlock for the ranks of this perk. When you return to the Mojave, these upgrades will carry over to the original Eddie as well. Can I give it to him? Yeah. Let's talk to him. Um, it's an impressive multi-tool suite you've got. I bet I can make all sorts of stuff so stuff with that. Not stuffs. Um, cool. Goodbye. Actually. Let me access the storage. Yeah. Uh, let's throw in our... Is this silent? Oh, fuck yeah. Let's throw that in. Let's throw in our hunting rifle as well. Our automatic rifle. Um... Let's pull that back out for a second. Let's throw that laser rifle in. For now, we'll throw that in. We'll throw that in, that in. Proton axe in. Service rifle. Okay, that's good. Oh fuck, we're just in here. Okay. Let's see. Desk is locked. Boom. Uh, so I see Hopeville Silo, second level security code, 10 millimeter rounds, SSS Barilla. 10 millimeter pistol, but we really don't want that or need it. Utility rooms here. We can go down as well. We really needed to. Oh, well, there's nothing in here other than two cherry bombs, primer for 50 mg. Hello. An ammo box in the rubble. Awesome. Boom. Get some more EC charge packs. Packs. Uh, there's I see jets, cherry bombs will take, more primers, purified water. That's all we'll grab out of there. Let's see if we can go down. What do we do down here? Nothing. Okay. Checks out. And we got the second floor building. Or, oh god. Stress beeping? Oh no. Dr. Grant? What the hell do you think you're doing? Ah, oh, Whitley. There you are. Orders from Colonel Autumn. He feels the iBot Duraframe project isn't advancing quickly enough. I'm too. You didn't even disengage his damage avoidance protocols. You're hurting him. Don't be ridiculous. It's just a machine. See here. I've already increased the navigation system's efficiency by 65%. Get the hell out of here! Fine, Whitley. It's your lab. <laughs> At least until I tell the Colonel about this. Fuck the Colonel. Uh, no. Um... No, oh, that's so mean. Sounds like Dr. Whitley really cared about you. Oh. Ralphie who? You're still not making sense, Eddie. Uh, Dr. Grant sounds like a war crime waiting to happen. Oh. Oh, you don't have to tell me, bud. I would've beat the crap out of her anyway. Base. Um. 
That's a terrible story, Eddie, but we should get moving. Yeah, more nails. Let's go. Alright. So we can go through there. Oh, hey. Security control level 2. Yakube second level robot security. Awesome. Primary systems offline. Nice. Uh, another thing in the filing cabinet. We'll grab all his ammo. Uh, let's grab electronics. Ooh. Locked desk. Fun. Okay. Okay. Where the fuck's the sweet spot? God damn. We'll build silo, first level security code. Okay, there's that. There's sunset sarsaparilla, more energy cells, and a plasma defender. No idea what the plasma defender is. We'll pull it out and see what it what it looks like. Oh, that's a pretty sick looking pistol, actually. Actually looks really cool. Oh. What the fuck happened here? I don't okay. Mark Troopers. Regular rocket launcher? I kind of want that. Not that I'm ever going to use it, but I kind of want it. Uh, I may be able to fix it. Yeah. I'll fix it. Uh, hack security turrets. Smack your head on everything. I need him to move down. Like, come down a quarter of an inch, my brother. Hey, right, um, come in, limit around, leather belt. Ooh, a little pistol. Through our money, security codes, awesome. Uh, deactivate personal sentry systems, yes. Open personal sentry doors. Hey, a little plasma rifle. Awesome. Holy fuck, Eddie. What the fuck are you doing? Can you come like an inch shorter, please? We're down like an inch and a half. Gonna keep smacking his fucking head. It's funny as fuck, actually. Oh my god. Here, dude, come fuck out my head. Oh my god. Why does he gotta smack his head on an everything, dude? That's crazy. So we got three arc welders now. We can't open that. Uh, open cell is fine. Eddie, brother.
happening? I genuinely have no idea what the fuck's happening. Not dead. Yeah, I kind of forgot about. I forgot he does that shit. Uh, doctor's bag. Do we have any? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I forgot they can fucking explode, dude. Give me that combat inhibitor. Eddie, run away! Oh, he's full health. Okay, I got real scared when I saw his health bar. Uh, security, central security access status. Oh. Fucking Christ, he's gonna scare the shit out of me. Time, isn't he? Please come down like an inch and a half. So smack it. God damn it. As long as we're in this bunker, that's what's gonna happen, huh? My brother in Christ. Move down! What the fuck? You're locked in there for now. Holy shit. He's so loud for what reason? Just impact, bottle caps. There's a lot of dead marked troopers. Ooh, NCR money. Awesome. It's the guy. Yeah, I just looted him. Cool. Uh, are we actually going to start the DLC yet? Why are you making that noise? Fuck it. We made it, apparently. I hope. Taking your chances coming here. Just like bringing the Lord of Vegas his tribute. Bending your knee to old world ghosts. You and that chip deserve each other. 29 less coins than other traitors have carried, if history's true. Now see the road the old world paves, and what the lights of New Vegas promise, if they haven't blinded your eyes. Um, okay. Is New Vegas, New Vegas power a threat to you? Power isn't strength. Power can wall off someone when they believe it's freed them. House's power. You've seen the wall around Vegas. He gains more power. That wall will grow. The Mojave will become Vegas. But it's more light than strength. He'll see the way of it soon enough. Uh, maybe you better tell me who you are and what you want. I'm a courier. Courier 6. Was Courier 6. Like you. And not like you. In all the ways that matter. Spent too many years looking for you. Now letting you come to me. Thought carrying that ship would end you. No. You got lives in you. Hard to kill. Storms, bullets, sand and wind. Yet still, you walk. For now. So you're the one who sent the radio message? Ulysses? Not my given name. Close enough. Took it from history. Found it in a book. It's an old world name. Ulysses. 
species lived a long time ago, long before the old world set fire to itself. He made a mark without being myth. Had to fight during a time when his world had two flags, and he had to make them one. Um, enough talking. You you went to a lot of trouble to lure me here, so let's get on with this. America sleeps ahead of you. It's nightmares filled with quakes, storms. You'll need to find your own path. That means waking America's spears up from their slumber. There's ways. Warheads set off collapse. Warheads could open the gates again. You're resourceful. That machine, a robot with you, can help you find the warheads you need to destroy. And their trigger, the detonator. The way ahead is below. The tools are there. The rest, up to you. So if we share history, then before going forward, I want to know the past. Who are you who do not know your history? You came all this way for answers. Only currency I have. Nothing else to be gained. Could turn around, walk away at any time. If history matters to you, you'll need to earn it. Any laws of mine, I have already cast away in the divide. They're lost to you. For now, find the trigger for the warheads buried in Hopeville. Use it to keep moving and keep alive. Fine, I'll find this trigger and then I'll come find you. The divide will send its worst against you. It may break you. We'll see if you're stronger. Road gets rougher from here, courier. Left marks for you. Colors will tell the way if you're smart. They'll lead you to your home one more time. Lead to the ending of it. Maybe remind you why you wander. All right. Fuck it, we ball. Looks like a fucking warhead, dude. I don't know what to put it in. I guess medicine? It's fine by me. That's a fucking warhead right there, dude. Hey, buddy, how about you walk away from it? Alright, there's nothing in. Ooh, stim pack. Okay, well, apparently there is stuff in here. Ooh, hello. Well, floor safe action. Uh, 9 millimeter submachine gun, we'll grab that. Grab the cases, we'll grab the ammo. Don't really want anything else, we'll grab that, we'll grab another tool gun. Uh, there's an empty syringe, which we'll grab a lead, power. Is it power or powder? I can't, I cannot tell. Okay, let's, uh, let's do that. Oh, hey, a little vending machine. Awesome. So yeah, uh, looks like we're in the divide now. Player gun, bro. All right, I see how it is. I, I mean, I guess we're doing it. I didn't want to do it, but I guess we'll do it. Some Mark Trooper. Hey, we got some MREs. Let's go. 
Yeah, I didn't really want to use this weapon, but I guess we will. This is kind of fucking nutty. Ugh. Nope. I thought I could try to make that jump. We'll pop a uh, stim pack. We got plenty of them as well. Another new Coca-Cola. Oh, are you kidding me? Fucking okay, unlock this shit. I understand, Eddie. Thanks. No way I whiff. He's a 12 gauge. Nice, another hunting shotgun. Awesome. So these marked men are apparently... Oh, okay. So free. Alright, we have to go over there. God, my brother? Goes oh, from up there. What the fuck? Oh, there ain't no way. Blade of the West? I have no idea what that's about. There's a red glare. Ooh, hello. There's a detonator. We'll rest up here. We'll save. Uh, we got what? Why is it so dark on here? Weird. Blade of the West is an actual blade. Okay. okay. Hunting shotgun, laser detonator. Lever action shotgun. Uh, we can drop these. We don't need them. And another red glare. So we took one off. Trail far behind. Alright, cool. We gotta get rid of three pounds. So we'll just straight. We'll drink Nuka Colas. It's fine by me. We'll do it like that. What the fuck? Rude? Rude? We're gonna play it like that? Oh my god. I'm not even gonna front, this thing's kinda dog shit. This thing's not good. Like, it shoots fast, but it just does not do a lot of damage. You know, damage you'd be expecting with a fucking rocket launcher. So it's kinda mid. Got another one of the uh, trail carbines yet. That's unfortunate, honestly. I'm still with the light just clear. Uh, this is an instant nuclear warhead. If what Uly Ulysses said is true, the laser detonator on Hopewell should be able to trigger these. Oh, fuck. Well, I guess we're going up here then. We're gonna grab all that, that ammo. Yes, sir. So we probably should have popped that from the rooftop, maybe. Would have made more sense. Alright, let's go. Let's, God damn it, Eddie. God damn it. 
So yeah, we should probably get back up on the rooftop and hit it. Hello? Where did he come from? Is he just over here this entire time? Let's get the shish kebab. What a goo. Rest for an hour, get my health back. What a fucking goof that guy was. Um, okay, well we got that set up. It's the what? Well, we got two of those. Should just literally be called laser jet painter? Yeah. that up though. No, I don't I did not want that at all. So is there just no like cutscene for this? Or have I not technically entered the DLC yet? Hi damn it Eddie. Uh, so we can go set off literally all of these if we want. I know I passed one earlier. What is this? Okay. Probably should have assumed that. Based on uh, whatever it was earlier, I think it's. A, I think it just got taken off. There's no allowance. No allowance refill. Crazy. Okay. Come on. Get me through it. I don't need to sit here and watch the, these entire lines get rid of Of course. Deceptively. So it can't be permanently. Actually, it could be. That's not. Um. Fuck. Maybe I just, I'll skip on this for now. Yeah. I'll skip on this for now. I do want to go get that warhead back at the beginning of the area. So I remember I walked past it. I was like, oh, this is one of the warheads, ain't it? Probably there's 30 of them in here. I walk past it. It's right there. Yeah, we can take out all these warheads. At least all the ones we see. If I miss some, um, oh well. But I would like to at least get the majority of them. Alright, let's continue on. I don't even, honestly, I don't even know how to get down there. Do we just run this way? Motherfucker, Eddie. Eddie's goofy ass robots. Oh, hello. Hello.
Really, dude? Oh, hey. Let's go. This fortune showed up. Brother got sent to God. Uh, hunting a revolver. It's not bad. Rude. Please jump over. Jump over the fire. Just let me hack, let me fucking lockpick this shit in peace, please. Thank you. Uh, empty nuclear cola, pre war money. We don't need that yet. Nothing in there. Hello. Let's not go that. We got 12 rockets. Okay. Oh, hey. More shotgun ammo. Awesome. Nothing in there. Is there a health box anywhere? Or no. Glimmer fuel, metal box, locked. What the fuck, Eddie? Oh my god. He's gonna really start pissing me off when he starts walking in and just smacks his fucking antenna on everything. It's not worth it all. Reloading bench. There's a lunch box there. I was pink and I was like, what is that? That's what I'm looking for. And then we probably took the lead, huh? Alright, cool. I think we're done in this building. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is I should actually hotkey these more. Hotkey that one there. We'll hotkey this one here. We'll get our detonator on the bottom one. Laser pistol on eight. Put that on three. Put that down there. Okay. Now, if we just press down, it should. Yeah, okay, cool. So if I see another warhead, I could just press down and just yoink it out. Alright, let's not fucking use that weapon. So I can fucking see. It'd be great. Eddie, I swear to fucking god. I swear to god, my brother. If you don't cut it out, I'm gonna lose it. Alright, there's one some pit right there. Better stop looking at Eddie. Better leave him alone. My fucking boy a lump sniper rifle. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Okay, dude. Please hit the fucking shot, dude. Ah, I was not too proud of that one. So, we get another Blade of the West here. Guy 
directly below. Oh! Mother's got an assault rifle? Oh my god. Alright, well, they, they're still coming. What the fuck is this guy got? There's multiple guys, like, directly below. Yeah, dude's got a fucking assault carbine. Oh, I can't wield it. Can't quite wield it yet. It's oh, there's fucking three all right there. That works for me. Bitch, fuck it. Oh my god, open the fucking. Open the pit boy, you dumbass. Open your pit boy. Then they're pressing fucking circle to open the pit. Oh, I'm all the way the fuck back here. My god. Brother in Christ, we're cooked. We're cooked. Alright. Put that down there. Put this fucking here. God damn it. Laser detonator will put that down. down there. I guess we'll put that there. Fucking Christ, dude. Okay. There's that. So yeah, uh, we need to start saving. Like, literally, whenever we can. Those are plasma grains. I just dropped those for a reason. Literally just dropped those for a reason. Okay. Can we just w literally walk down here this way? Of course not. Of course not. Although I did get a uh, rad spike here. wait here until it's daytime. I don't know why it keeps canceling my rest. I really don't get why it does that, but whatever. Let's take right away. So, yeah, we did that a little too close, and I think we came across. God damn it. Well, it's a good thing I literally just waited and quick saved, I guess. Because the game fucking crashed. That's ridiculous. Um, Alright. Yeah, we should have popped that nuke already. One right there. Now there were people. Please don't do that. No, we didn't. Oh, hello.
literally just hockeyed, but like... I don't remember what my hockeys are. Why didn't he just hit me? How the fuck did he just hit me? Fucking Eddie's already there. Oh no, he's right here. Yeah. Alright, bitch, damn. Alright, bitch, damn. Why the fuck would it be a hat, dumbass? Okay, well they got their little uh I, I don't even think I can make that joke that I was gonna make. Rocket canister, what is that? Oh, it gives me rockets. Makes sense. Alright, so this is a base for the markmen, I guess. Probably loot it, eh? I'm down. Loot it for all it's worth. Blister's dead too, which is good. Oh, so this way. Probably step back to over out of range. He's full HP now. Alright. We gotta take Rattaway right again. Oh, I guess we never did the first time. So we want more, and then we'll do Rat X. If we're gonna run through fucking irradiated areas, we might as well take a Rat X. Awesome, we got, we got the Collapse Overpass. Enter a collapse overpass tunnel. I don't believe it. Grant actually went to Colonel Autumn and got approval for her damned efficiency guidelines. All experiments will be carried out with the test subject fully active to reduce iteration time. It's barbaric. I've explained this to the Colonel. Just because the iBots don't have true AI doesn't mean they're just machines. I guess results are all that matter around here. Forget things like ethical procedures or humane treatment. I'm starting to have serious misgivings about leadership around here. At least I've got you to talk to, hi Eddie. Whitley was really protective of, the, of his iBots, huh? Can't believe they'd approve that. I've met enough robots to know they're more than just machine. Ah. I'll tell them that, but like, uh... 
I can see why you left that place then. I hope those bastards got what was coming to them. Uh, let's pr let's press on. We've got a lot of ground to cover. All right. Uh, what the fuck? That was a death claw, right? Where'd the death claw just go? Oh. Yeah, I know. Let's, let's fucking run, bud. Pretty sure that was a fucking death claw right there. That was 100% a fucking death claw. I don't know where he just went. I need him to stop. I need him to stop with that. Stop! Fucking Christ, Eddie. You can go home for it. What the fuck are you? What the fuck is that? Okay, maybe it wasn't that much fun. It was a fucking death claw that just walked away from me. But no, I guess it was a tunneler. Explains where he went. So come on, Eddie. Oh, it's multiple. Just get me out of the fucking menu. I'm running. I don't give a fuck. It's fucking... starting to fucking die real quick. Okay. Fucking Christ, Eddie. God damn it. Alright, we're just gonna answer the high road. There you are. You went quiet for a time. Thought you might have returned to Vegas. It's comfort. Maybe you took that machine with you. There's a lesson here, in the divide. Old world history about holding on to something so tightly it breaks or falls apart. May have seen the cracks in Vegas' walls already. If so, they'll grow in time. No matter how much you back house. Bro, house is fucking dead. As obsessed as you are about history, the future is what I prefer. Your future with House has two roads. The road the tribals in Vegas want, their spirits crushed. Or your face on a robot servant, smiling forever in a dead casino. There's future in neither. All right, we're too far from Vegas to argue perspective on it. Maybe that's why you chose Vegas. 
The lights can blind, make people forget themselves, their convictions, vows. Not going to waste time trying to make the blind see. Took a chance coming here, same as I did. Now we'll see how it plays out. Uh... Huh? Oh, there's Markman and Hopeville. Some have strange masks and blades I've never seen before. They bear false versions of Legate the Muse's mask. The one Kaisar fashioned for him. Thought it was an insult at first. No better now. It's shaped from divide metal. Not with care and strength, but with hate. Keeps them anchored. Crude, effective, like the blades they carry. Distant mirrors of their legate, a symbol they can hold on to, while the divide tears at them. Okay. Uh, other markmen had NCR gear, and they weren't carrying masks or blades. For the two-headed bear, NCR, they don't have symbols in the same way Legion does. They revere their minds and explosives, guns. That is their religion. Death from afar. Take pride in it. Uh, whatever they were carrying, they were fighting side by side with the ones in Legion armor. Pain makes for strange allies. The hate of the bear and bull shared across the battlefield. Now turned against the divide. Few survived. Intact. Many NCR were already here when the destruction happened. Keeping the route east open, in fear of Kaisar, fear of the Legion. Ah, uh, this place is important to the Legion? The why of it, Hoover Dam. The bear, NCR, couldn't be allowed to reach it easily. Long 15, Cayman, both bad enough. Kimbo, Kaisar, House. You'd think that our world was that wall, cutting the Colorado. If I'd never laid eyes on it, never spoke of it. But once found, it was all Kaisar could see. That, and the flag beyond it, another symbol, big enough to challenge him. And the divide, one of the roads to it. Legion was tasked with cutting that artery. If you can't kill the bear in one stroke, bleed it, starve it. That kind of murder. It's what any of the Legion would have done. Now, the divide belongs to history. Okay. Um, I'm not interested in talking. I don't want to know where to head next. At the end of the high road lies Ashton. It's Silo. That machine I'm with you. It can open it, wake it up. Like it did the one in Hopeville. Sticks out. Uh, I've never been here before, at least not from this road. Many in the Mali think the divide's nothing but canyon and storm. Wasn't always. There was life. A town farther west. I'm not talking about an old world town like Hopeville. More recent. Something you saw in your lifetime. It had the name, the divide, too. But rather than cracks in the earth, it was a road from the west into the Mojave, a supply line. It took a courier to make that road. You. Back then, you saw the road with eyes facing east. This time, the divide's in the other direction. And if your eyes try to make sense of it when you reach it, home's not what it was. What the fuck? Uh, so, so you're saying I walk this road once from another direction, from west to east, to home? All roads lead back to one's home. Not your birthplace, maybe. But home. Home isn't where you were born into the 
this world. You taught me that. Part of your message, whether you meant it or not, can be a place of mind. A moment where you know who you are, the history of it. And they can be places you breathe life into. Never would have known the divide had it not been for you. The road you made with your tracks again and again. You were the only one willing to make the journey to and from here. A hard road. Kept the land before the divide alive through seasons, storms. Can't have been just a job. Was something more to you. Don't feel for a place that hard unless it's home. Uh, I've walked a lot of hard roads, Mojave and before. Does it mean anything? It means everything. Even if you deny it, cast it aside. That speaks to what you are, proves what happened here. It was you walking that road that kept the divide alive. It grew from what you did. Settlers, camps, filling that old world city. Chance for a new mission, new beginning, new way of thinking. Could have breathed new life into the Mojave, bridging east, west, like Hoover Dam. But not old world. Something you made. Road was a supply line. Um, there is no other supply line to the Mojave behind, beyond the Long 15? <laughs> not anymore. If one existed, the two-headed bear would have claimed it. And it tried to. NCR saw the worth in that road you made. Staked a claim whether it was wanted there or not. True elsewhere in the Mojave. And where the bear tries to cling to life, the Legion comes, bearing messages. Some brought by blade, others by couriers. You knew what was coming, as sure as I know what's coming for you. This time you carry the burden. Walk west into the sun and keep walking until it dies. There, I'll be waiting. Hi, right, fucking finally. All right, we're gonna we're gonna finish our meds and our science skills, and then we'll do. I don't know what we should do, honestly. Oh, what's that? Uh, so, okay, so, I, I just won't develop a, uh, chem addiction. Um, fuck it, what do you tag? Actually, will we? Atomic. What do I have now? Nuka chemist, I oh, will do that one. Alright, sick. So, uh, yeah, that's gonna have to do it for this, uh, for this episode. Uh, and the next one will go to Ulysses, and we'll find out what's, uh, Find out what's next in this DLC. So uh, until then, see you guys later.